Good afternoon. I was shown by one of the brothers uh, that uh, the footnote in uh, the reference Bible dealing with uh, Ruckman and Drummond uh, 610. And uh, the point is, what Ruckman did on stand on, uh, on, on limited atonement. Just didn't, didn't grasp how unbelievers then you know get sent to hell or the lake of fire. And uh, he would have understood if he believed the, the Scopio note. <laughs> the Scopio note shows no one gets sent to hell or lake of fire for their sins. They get they get there because of their works. They're sent to the lake of fire for their works. And the name not being in the book of life. The works don't add up. That's been known for always Christianity taught that. No one taught the idea that Jesus Christ became literally a worm or that he dropped his sins off in hell. But the point is, is that he didn't, Buckman never taught that he uh, burned the torments in hell. So let me read the footnote here. The sins Christ bore in his own body, 1 Peter 2.24, left that body after death. Uh, his dead flesh did not see corruption, Acts 2.27.31, because his living soul went down into hell as a sin offering and shed those sins, leaving them there. When a sinner rejects Christ, he has to pay for his sins in hell because he rejected the payment that has already been made for them, 2 Corinthians 5.19, which he didn't need to pay, 2 Corinthians 5.21. A lost man will meet his sins where Christ dumped them in hell. No. <laughs> He'll pay for it. Can, the lost man is going to meet his sins in hell. The lost man is in hell for not believing in Jesus Christ. He doesn't have God's righteousness. So he's still on the... He has to go... He can't go to heaven. He can't go where... He has to have God's righteousness to exist with God. He doesn't have it. So he has to go to hell. And he goes to the lake of fire because his, work, his books are checked. According, that's what Romans 2 is talking about. If you had these works... But no one's going to have those works. No one has to meet the standard of Jesus Christ. That's the standard. There's no compromise in that standard. There's no, there's no uh, grading on a curve. You almost made it. <laughs> you almost made it. No, they go there because their works fall short. And then the book of life is opened up. They won't believe this. And so they go where their father went, goes. The father, their father is the spiritual father is the devil. Like a fire was created for the the devil and his angels. But the also the point is you see that then in Second Corinthians five seventeen, you go to the note here. Remember the Sluter saying, Oh, you wouldn't stop uh, you know Buckman from teaching in churches, you know, because he taught, he's teaching when he's preaching, he's not he all oh, Buckman He's not preaching. Ruckman never taught what, what Slew is teach, uh, teaching. Uh, let's see here. Second uh, Corinthians five, five fourteen. Okay, five nineteen. This verse is used by hyper dispensationalists and hyper grace crowd to prove that salvation is automatic. We're not going to start with universalists. The idea is that since reconcil the reconcil reconciliation of the world has already been accomplished, the payment of sins has already been made. See, note in Romans 6 10, no sinner can be charged with his trespasses. Well, that's right. He isn't charged with his trespasses. The sins have been paid for. Jesus Christ tasted death for, death for every man. That is about as blasphemous as you can be without uh, becoming a Pope or Muslim. That the reconciliation of uh, every sinner was an accomplished fact. Uh, Paul would not beseech them to be reconciled to God in the next verse. Merely believing in Christ does, not, does nothing for the sinner. Uh, the devil believes every word of this verse. He's not reconciled. The fact that God charged the world will sin to Christ and that those trespasses were paid, paid in full at Calvary at Calvary. So Jesus Christ paid the full sins at Calvary. And he didn't go to torments to pay for the sins. He was on the cross. 
doesn't do anything for you or, or anyone else if you do not personally take Jesus Christ as your payment. John 1, 2. Until then, your sins are surcharged to you and you're not reconciled to God. Um, let's see. I don't know if he has here, me, me, uh, merely believing in Christ does nothing for the sinner. That's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> that's, merely believing in Jesus Christ doesn't do yeah, That's what you're supposed to believe in only Jesus Christ, I shall be saved. It does a lot for the sinner. It saves the sinner. Nothing else saves the sinner. So you get fouled up, people. The, the, the devil doesn't believe in Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ didn't die for him. So you got to believe what Jesus Christ did for you on the cross, death, burning, resurrection, five, five percent of the cross, and then you have to trust him as your personal savior. But the point is, even Workman doesn't say he, no, Jesus Christ uh, uh, died in torments. I was burned up in torments, it became a, became a, a worm in torments for three hours, like Sluder saying. But he's messed up on on the atonement. God doesn't judge, uh, 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 charge the sinner at the great white throne judgment, despite what Chick Track says. Chick Track, he's got there, well, he's going to show all your sins and everything. He'll pay for it. Now, our sins, of course, we'll, we'll, pay, uh, we'll go to judge the judgment of Christ. But our sins aren't brought up there either. Because they haven't paid for it. Our works are brought up. Wood, hay, and stuff, or, you know. Precious stones, good, you know, good things, and that's anything brought up. The unbelievers' works are shown, are brought up, good works. You know, you did this, good, you know, no sins, pay for. They're not going to reach it. They're not going to reach the, st the standard. Not going to reach the standard. Too high. That's Romans two was talking about. Yeah, if you did all this, 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 you, you, you know, you'd have eternal life. You're not going to do all that. Because no one can do it. And so, you'd have to live, a, you'd have to live the life that Christ lived. And you can't do it. So, everyone will fall short. Great white throne judgment, every, every book, the, the book, book of works are shown, are opened up. Not the book of sins. Book of works. And every man's going to fall short. And since they don't have God's imputed righteousness, they can't live with God. And they don't have God's imputed righteousness because the name is not in the Book of Life. The name's Book of Life. So I just want to show, show you quickly how unlimited the issue of unlimited atonement comes up. And people try to use that to justify universalism. Well, well unlimited atonement, that's what the limited atonement guys say. Well, if Christ died for all, then why, you know, why is anybody going to hell? They're going to hell for their works. Because they don't have imputed righteousness. Not because of their sins. Sins were paid for. That's been taken care of. He died for, he died for sins, the sins of all mankind. They were paid for. They weren't dropped off into hell for unbelievers to come and pick them up. <laughs> when you come up with this stuff? So I'll stop and put this up and to show you. People are confused in doctrine after doctrine after doctrine. They just get totally out of whack. But one thing Bob Ruckman didn't teach was that. Jesus Christ is burning in hell for torments. That's why that's why Slew's gonna back off on this. He says, I'm not gonna say anything more about this again. He didn't have the humility to come up and say, Well, I was wrong on this, and he found a little thing where it, well Buckman didn't correct the guy talking about Jesus Christ becoming a worm. I don't, I don't think the guy said anything about Jesus Christ burning in hell for three uh, uh three hours. And then he wants to go back and say, I'm still, you know, I'm still clear with Buckman. And I'm going to drop this now, but all you people who accuse me of heresy, you know, you just remember that. I was, I, I was right. Yeah, right. You know, you know, Buckman, not only was Buckman's teaching Nutty enough, but you went outside Buckman's. <laughs> you went outside Buckman's Nutty teaching. Amen. Thank you.